There are many mountains all over the world. Some are large and steep. Some are covered in trees and green, while others are covered in ice and snow. Some spit fire, and some are entirely underwater. No matter what type, the biggest mystery is how they became the way they are. In Greek mythology, the mountains of the world each had an individual god and goddess spirit inhabiting them, and their names were the Oria, the mountains that stood tall. No descriptions were ever given to the Oria, but in classical art, they are usually represented as long-bearded men on the side of their mountains. The Oria are first mentioned in mythology during the creation myth, where they are the children of Gaia, the primordial goddess of the earth. After Gaia created the earth and gave birth to Uranus, she gave birth to the Oria, who rushed into the earth after being born. A moment later, the earth began to shake, and great piles of dirt rose into the sky. The mountains had risen. Amongst the Uria, ten of them and their mountains especially stood out in Greek mythology. Each of the Uria were a part of the ancient Greece borders at the time, which was why these ten were specified. First was Mount Etna, located in Sicily, Italy. Mount Etna was the home to the forges of Hephaestus, and also where Zeus imprisoned Typhon, the king of monsters. The second was Mount Athos, located in northeastern Greece. It was underneath this mountain that Poseidon buried a giant during the Gigantomachy. Third was Mount Helucon, located in Boeotia, Greece. It was the location where Tiresias witnessed Athena bathing, and therefore was cursed and blessed with blindness and prophetic visions. The fourth Uria was Mount Kitheron, located in central Greece. The mountain was a sacred location to Dionysus, and also the location where Acteon was torn apart by his dogs. It was also the location where King Pentheus was ripped limb from limb by his mother and her friends. The fifth was Mount Nissos, which is the only one of the Uria's location which is unknown. It was the mountain where Dionysus was brought up as a child by the Nissos nymphs and the Sata Silenus. The sixth Uria was Olympus, the most famous of the Uria, located in between Thessaly and Macedonia. Olympus was the home to the twelve Olympians and was where Zeus held his court. Seventh was also named Mount Olympus, which was located in Turkey. This Uria was the father of Marsides, a satyr who acquired Apollo's anger by challenging him to a music contest. The eighth Uria was Mount Arthurus, located in central Greece. Mount Arthurus was the home of Kronos and the Titans. It was also where the original Olympians, including Yesta, Hades, Hera, Demeter, Poseidon, and Zeus were born. Ninth was Mount Parnes, located in Attica. It was said to be a sacred location to Zeus. And the last of the Uria was Mount Tomolos, located in the city of Sartes in Turkey. It was at the base of his mountain where Tomolos himself was asked to judge a music competition between Apollo and Pan. The Uria were some of the first immortals on the earth. It is thanks to them that we have the mighty mountains. And although they never left their mountains, the Uria still played important parts in Greek mythology. And there you have it. I give you the wild Greek mythology of the Uria, the gods and goddesses of the mountains. Hey, if you enjoyed my video, then please give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more videos about mythology, fairy tales, and folklore on the way, so make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss out. Also, if you would like me to do a video on a subject or character within mythology, please let me know in the comments. Well, that's all for now. Cheers until the next wild mythology.